You're an intermediate level developer. You're not a beginner and you're not an expert. What projects do you build? You're past the stage of building calculator apps and to-do lists because they're easy, but you haven't got a job yet or you're not an expert. So what projects can you build to strengthen your portfolio and stand out to companies that you want to get a job with? So this is the topic of the video. Four intermediate level projects that you can build to strengthen your portfolio. Number one, let's start with a boring one, a chat application. This is probably what every single other video like this has said, but there's a good reason for it because it employs different development techniques and different techniques for interacting with a backend than what you're normally used to. As a beginner, you're basically taught how to interact using REST APIs, but that's not how a real-time chat application works. I mean, sure, you could build a function that loops in every single two seconds, ask the database if there's a new message, but that's not practical. So this chat application instead should be using WebSockets. So I'm not gonna go into too much detail as to what a WebSocket is. If you don't know what it is, um, Google it, I guess. But in summary, a WebSocket is a way of creating an open connection between a client and a server to send messages between them. So for example, a client could wait and then receive 10 or 20 different messages from a server without having to create a new connection. Now this is really useful when creating real-time applications like messaging apps because it allows you to subscribe to information. So we can tell a client device that the person that they're messaging is now typing and sending a new message. The client device doesn't need to ask for that information, it just receives it. So this chat application should allow users to communicate with each other in real time. Users should also be able to create an account and edit their profile, and you can do this using a REST API. So you're gonna combine multiple methods of communicating with the backend. You could add different features such as private chats for one-on-one -on -one conversations or group chats for maybe up to five or 10 people to really diversify the features that you're building. All of this is with the intention of impressing the people that you're gonna showcase this project to. And of course, the app should have basic security features because if you're a developer that's creating unsecure apps, you're not gonna get hired. But you could go one step further and build something with maybe end-to-end -end encryption if you understand how that works to really outshine the competition. Like I say, you're building a chat application. Every other developer would have built one of these before. So how can you create a feature that stands out among the crowd, among the other chat applications that employers are gonna see in portfolios? And finally, the application needs to have a really simple and easy to use interface. So I'll really think about how you're creating the process of a user signing up, editing their account, creating a chat room, etc. All of these skills are really important to demonstrate to potential employers because if you can think like a user, you're going to be able to build products that are user friendly. Number two, an image recognition software. So the software should be able to recognize different objects within images and be able to classify or label them. Now, that sounds like a massive task. Training an AI model to be able to recognize images takes a lot of work, but that's not the skill that you're gonna showcase with this project. You're more than welcome to use TensorFlow's object detection model because the skill that you actually want to show here is that you can take documentation of a model or an API and use it to build a product. Because it's likely that if you're working in a company, they're gonna have existing systems that you need to integrate with. So this image recognition software is actually about integrating with a system or model that someone else has already built. Because showing that you can understand and work with documentation is really important when getting a job and working within a team. I'd recommend building a front-end interface that allows users to be able to upload their own images so that you can showcase it to the employer or whoever it is you're showcasing it to without having to, say, drag and drop a file into a source directory and say, look, this is how it does it. Ultimately, you want the experience to be really magical from their point of view, especially if they're a non-technical hiring manager because they just want to see something work and it'd be cool. It's actually a barrier if you're having to intervene to showcase your software project. That's not how it should work. And once you've got the result from the image classification model, I recommend spicing up how you deliver the result. So you could add an overlay to the bottom of the image that maybe says, this is what is included in this image and return it to the user's device. Or you can add a funky animation within the browser that then shows the text of what the result is. I don't know, it's completely up to you as long as you can show something again to stand out. Like I said, especially if they're a non-technical hiring manager, that's gonna impress them. In fact, often what I found with clients is that the things that are really easy for me to do as a developer, but the things that I maybe overlook are actually the things that are going to impress them the most. Number three, an automated stock price checker. 
Of course, this wouldn't be a tech video without showcasing how you can impress those finance bros. So essentially the idea behind this project is that you're going to create an automated system that checks the price of a stock or multiple stocks every five minutes. Now that's really easy if you use the Yahoo API. However, let's make it slightly more complex. You're only gonna notify a user of a price change if the price has changed by 1% since they were last notified. So there could be a 20 minute gap between notifications. You've checked the price three or four times. However, if the price has only changed by half a percent, 0.2 of a percent, there's no need to notify them because it's not that big of a deal. Remember, this is about being functional and useful for a user, not just showcasing that you can take data from an API and send it somewhere. If the price hasn't changed by more than 1% since you last notified them, don't contact them about it at all. It's not that relevant. And here's the cool part. You could then use the WhatsApp API to send a direct message to your user to notify them of the price change. You could also include some additional information such as the last time it went down to this price or a list of relevant articles about this stock. Like I've said with all the other ideas, go crazy with it, see what other core cool functionalities you can add in to really stand out. And finally, number four, a website for developers to showcase their projects. But it's not GitHub, it's not Stack Overflow, something a little bit more different. This website can allow developers to upload screenshots and information about their project, maybe even code snippets as well, just to really showcase the work that they've done. Because we're listing a lot of information, it's really important that this website is SEO friendly. So for this project, I recommend using a server-side rendered language or framework that enables you to boost that SEO. Personally, I recommend Next.js, but that's just my personal preference. You can make it so that all the projects are visible to anyone who wants to view them. However, if they want to publish their own project, they need to create an account. Instead of building your own authentication, you could integrate a third-party authentication service such as Auth0. Again, this is showcasing that you can work with third-party tools and systems. Users should be able to upload their own images, descriptions, code snippets, and whatever else you think would be really cool for them to showcase as a part of their project. In fact, come to think of it, you could even add a Wiswig editor, or what you see is what you get editor. Essentially, this will allow users to completely design the page for their project instead of you just giving them a blanket template that they can never change. The hard part about working with what you see is what you get is that you have to create loads of different components for all the possible different components that they can build in the editor. So it can become quite confusing, but it's really impressive if you get it right. So these are just a few ideas that I had for intermediate developers to really impress the expert developers and impress hiring managers at the various companies that they want to get jobs at. If you do build any of these projects, let me know how it goes and send me a link to them. I'd love to check them out. Remember, the best developer is always learning. So if any of these projects are too easy for you, but you don't want to abandon the ideas, see how you can spice them up and add some cool functionalities that no one else will add. As always, thank you so much for watching. See ya.